Welcome back to Panero's Mind, my people. Now, today is awareness, right? So, a lot of people, over 50 million, have seen this new robot make soldiers absolute. A video done by Corridor that deal with graphics and technology and whatnot, okay? Now, I know a lot of you might have seen this video, but I really need you guys to stick around even if you've seen that. I'm not going to play the whole clip. I'm just going to play a little bit of the clip for the guys who haven't seen it. You know, there's more than 15 million people on this planet. So I'm going to play the clip. But like I said, for those who've seen it already, please stick around because there's a whole point to this. Okay, let's have a look. Nice bit of footage there. Yeah, for those who didn't know or never seen it before, yeah, it was false. Like, this is fake footage. Um, but at the same time, you know, they got help from uh, Boss Town Dynamics, who supplied them with one of their robots that they're actually working with. And uh, they put graphics behind it and made it able to do other things. Now, here's some footage of the before and after shots of this project. Take a look. Now you can see how they done it. Obviously it's graphics, uh, CGI, you know. And um, it looks really good. They've got a lot of views, 15 million views. But there's something about this footage to me that kind of sparks something inside me. I'm just gonna share it with you. Now you don't have to agree with me in this video, but I just wanna put it out there. Now, you know, as you see in the video that the robot was doing various things, rolling on the floor, um, you know, trying to get his balance, uh, shooting, uh, you know, jumping over barrels, jumping and certain things like that. Now, let's see what they can actually really do, what level they've really got them to, because to me, following um, Boston Dynamics uh, robots, uh, I've done videos in the past about them, it's not very far off. It's not really far off to me from what I saw in the video to what they can actually do. Now, let me just show you a couple things that they can do and a couple of the tricks and, you know, movements, capabilities that these robots can do. And let's see if you can catch my drift.
So my people, as just seen in the footage I just showed you, we've got robots lifting heavy equipment, we have robots jumping onto boxes, you know, we have robots doing rolls and flips on the floor. Well, I don't know what it is with these guys always pushing down the robot. Are you trying to see the stability or are you trying to see how fast it recovered to get back to his feet to kill some humans? I don't know. But anyway, so we've seen what they're capable of. Now, to me, it's not really far from what you're really seeing in the CGI video, to be honest. But obviously, there's one thing missing, right? Okay, the robot wasn't shooting. Okay, but in Russia, they have a robot that does shoot. Now take a look at this footage. thing I learned about this world is that you have to think outside the box right and something is just coming to my attention with this video and it's like to me to me and I'm not saying that you have to follow me but me personally I feel they put this video out to make it look like they haven't got that technology now as you can see in the videos that I just showed you they have been working on the robots for over 10 years so the actions and emotions are not really far off from the CGI itself anyway. So, it makes you think, you know, are they doing this to, you know, just hide what they really got going on? Because you know they got mad black projects and I'm telling you something now. There is no way on earth, yeah, right now, if they had a robot that moved like the one in CGI, they would ever show you though. They wouldn't because it would be too much awareness for the people, yeah, and they're going to want to know more. And some people get scared when they see things like that, you know. It's it's going to be a different world soon. And a, a lot of these robots will be implemented. As we know, Saudi Arabia are the first to give a, a grant an AI robot citizenship. You know, they've got the money to back it, so you're going to see a lot going on from there. But you know the bad thing about this robot thing? We've seen it already. Go to your local Tesco. Go to your local Sainsbury's. And look at the way you pay for your goods now. You have a robot there. You also got a camera pointing straight in your face. Why that's necessary, I do not know. But it, it, that's what you see when you go out in these uh, shopping markets now. So it starts always from small, you know, and builds themselves up to this next little clip I'm going to show you. Take a look at this.
So I know you know where I'm coming from with that clip. So as you can see, the robots, them are doing warehouse work. No one else around. Very fast at doing what they're doing. Probably going to be stronger than the human picking up certain products. And on top of that, it's going to be cheaper for these mainstream companies to buy these robots and implement them in their warehouses, right? Don't have to worry about you coming, not turning up to work. Don't have to worry about you being sick. And also, they won't have to worry about you slipping and having an injury and them having to pay out large sums of money. Now it cuts out all of that. So, you can see where this is going, you know, and I just wanted to make you a lot aware that even though that corridor, the YouTube channel put out the footage and they actually said, no, it's not real. And right. I personally feel that they have got the um, technology of this level. Me personally, I think higher than this, you know? Think about how the way it works. So you've got a robot that can maneuver itself, you know, do front flips, rolls, fall on the floor and shoot guns. All they would have to really do is implement a targeting system. A targeting system on that device, which they have. We know they've had lock-on missiles for years, but they've used on the planes of war, you know? Homing devices. Israel has the hand of God, you know, that automatically rises when missiles are thrown at it. Right, so targeting systems, that's, that's this thing of the past. That's, that's old news. You know, so like I said, and I'm gonna say it to you again, just be very aware because they're trying to show you these things to get your to look at the comments. As you can see, it's got 15 million views. They want to look at the comments and see how you lot feel about it, and then they will go from there and implement what they want to implement next. You know, so um, I'm sure a lot of you, when you first saw that, you wasn't sure if it was actually a real robot or if it was just CGI graphics. Uh, and that's the thing, this is how they test your mind, people. But yeah, this is something I just wanted to point out. Like, is it really that far away from what they're actually showing us on YouTube anyway, in robots and stuff like that? And we're not even going to talk about the underground situations they've got going on where they test out other things. You know, I keep telling people we're more than 50, maybe 100 years behind technology, but they have it all for themselves from the fallen angels. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, peace.